What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott, and I, I just woke up, but of course, every morning I wake up, I am bombarded with a bunch of uh, messages on my Snapchat saying, when are you going to make a video? right so here i am making a video i'm sorry i kind of got out in, of the uh the, the the way of things i just moved here relaxing chilling getting my place set up um i would say it's not done yet uh, that's how bad i am with this but it's pretty much done it's livable right so i'm going to make a video in my room enjoy right now if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Just click the red button below. I'll love you forever. Even if I haven't made a video in the last month, please do it. Um, and the little bell notification next to it. The way YouTube works now is uh, you basically have to push that bell notification to get my videos, right? Uh, or they're going to make it that way or, or much harder um, because of all, they're just trying to put in front of you what you're looking for. So if you're watching my videos a lot, then you really don't have to push it. But if you want my videos right away, push the, just push the button. Okay. I'll love you forever. Now, as you can see by the title, we are going to be talking about, uh, you know, getting a guy back or what happened. Like just a mistake a lot of women make when they're trying to get a guy back. And I see it all the freaking time with my clients. All the freaking time. Which is fine. I totally understand. I'm not, I'm not hating, right? I understand where you're coming from. You really like the guy. Is, is my hair coming out? Um, you know, you really like the guy. He shows you a lot of promise in the beginning. That motherfucker, how dare him. He showed you a lot of promise in the beginning. And then he started pulling away, and you're like, what the hell's going on? What the hell's happening? I thought you liked me. I, you said we were going to get married, god damn it. I probably had that email like four times in the last, uh, like three days. Guys saying that, you know, they're talking, or the girls telling me, the guys talk about the future, you talk about marriage, and all these kind of things. But then he pulls away. What's going on? Well, I mean, that's a whole other video, and I have a lot of videos on that, but let me tell you something a lot of, or a problem a lot of women make when the guy comes back around. And I'm not saying he doesn't deserve the confrontation. I'm not saying he doesn't deserve to be held accountable. I'm not saying he doesn't deserve a punch in the face and, and you uh, getting up in his grill and telling him what he did wrong, right? Um, that, that can come, because it's needed, obviously. The guy's an asshole. However, I know so many women... Who, you know, they'll, they'll e again, they'll email me and they're like, what should I do? You know, I, I, I want I want them back and this and that. And then they tell me like their game plan. I'm like, no, you don't do that. And 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 their game plan consists more of, or, or, is, or sorry, it's heavily consisted of like talking about the feelings, getting the, you know, like, why'd you pull away? Where are we going? Like, you know, the questions, the, um, uh, the titles feelings, where it's going, how he's feeling and things like that. Now, every dating coach out there would tell you, you know, to do the opposite of what I'm telling you to do, right? Because it's like common sense is communication is key. I agree with that 100%. But here's what a lot of dating coaches and a lot of people don't understand or they don't comprehend. When I'm talking to my clients or, or email, whatever, I'm always like this, you know, the reason the guy pulls away is because of the pressure, okay? It goes too fast, too soon, too quick, too intense. Someone's too available. There's too much texting. Uh, you know, there's there's feelings after sex. There's whatever it is, right? You it goes from here to here real fast. And when the guy's not ready for that, right? He's gonna be. I always say this in every video. He's gonna be very hesitant to comply. When he's hesitant to comply, it's because if he does. He feels like he's telling you, I'm on the same page as you because I know how you feel, so I'm just going to act accordingly. When that's not the case, he's not on the same page as you, right? He, he likes the he likes the casualty of it right now. He enjoys his time with you. He likes you, but just because I like you doesn't mean I want a relationship with you. Two different things. You know, a relationship's more of a commitment thing. A like you is more of a feeling-based thing. Yeah, people, yeah, they kind of go hand-in-hand -hand and they're threaded, but they're not the same thing. And so I know so many women, when a guy pulls away for the pressure, what's the first thing she does when he comes around? Apply pressure. It doesn't work that way. I always say, I always say you should never pull away unless you are willing 100% to negotiate that, hey, you know, I like you, but you're not giving me what I want. And then you, and then you take a hike, right? And you commit to that, 
that that journey, that hike up that mountain where you're like, sayonara, bro. Like, I, I'm not talking to you again until you give me what I want, right? A lot of people can't do that. A lot of women will come around and they'll say, Hey, I want a relationship. And the guy says, okay, well, great, I don't. And then the woman sticks around. And if she sticks around, then it's like, well, okay, now you're screwed because, you know, you showed him that you, what, you know, you wanted a relationship, but you're still sticking around. So why would he ever commit? There's no urgency. There's no threat. He knows you like him. He knows you're not going anywhere, right? So you have to be able to negotiate, hey, it's this or that, dude. Now, the second part of that is you should never negotiate with that, not only if you're not willing to 100% pull away, but if you don't have him hooked, right? A lot of women say something too fast, too much, too soon. They cut the cord too short uh, where the guy's not 100% hooked on her. And when that happens, then of course she's going to give the ultimatum and it's going to come up short. So, I'm a big believer in just building attraction. When you build attraction, things fall in place. That's just how it is. Things fall in place when, when there's attraction involved, a high level of attraction where he feels like I, you're better in my life than if without, you're the missing piece that I need. Now, I know that's really strong um, feelings, but I mean, I'm not going to commit to a girl unless I have really strong feelings for her. I mean, that's just common sense. So when a guy comes back around, ladies, don't start trying to get back on the same page that things used to be. Don't don't talk about your feelings, titles, where it's going, why he's doing this and that. Just focus on attraction because the guy's not going to want to come around to be, um, to be you know bombarded with a plethora, plethora, plethora of questions. I can't say it right. I can I can never roll my tongue to save my life. Um, that's why I study Spanish so much, but I can't. Uh, I can't speak it because I can never. I still can't roll my arts. I've been studying Spanish for fucking several years now, but um, you know, and I still suck. But you don't want to bombard them with a bunch of questions. I was gonna say plethora again, but I can't pronounce it. Uh, of questions, it's just not gonna. It's just not gonna go well when the guy's already pulling away because of the pressure. And what women don't understand is the context of things. If he's pulling away because of that. And then you try to get, you, you're, you know, you're just thinking, well, I just want to talk. Well, he has a different lens on now because he knows how you feel and he pulled away because of that pressure. So anything you try to do, which is try to win him back, that's you coming off strong in his eyes. Now you understand context is everything. I need to make a complete course on context because that's how important it is. Okay. So with that being said, ladies, again, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Just click the red button below with the red notification, or not the red notification, but just the notification bell. If you see a bell, press the damn thing, okay? I love you. Take care and peace.